Hi everyone and welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure Channel. I will share with you another adventure that we took with few good friends through British Columbia. We have visited many interesting places, encountered spectacular sceneries and even wildlife. We were riding in this series from Calgary, Alberta to Okanagan and Kootenays. Every day new adventure on and off road with some mishaps and tons of fun. Each end of the day we spent camping, no hotels or restaurants, the real deal. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share the footage. Maybe it will give you a new idea where to take your motorcycle through Canadian wilderness and beauty of this still raw country. I will try to show you the routes we took on the beginning of each video. We did have the GPX files loaded on our garments, but unfortunately we were not able to accomplish the original plan, with the exception of the first day. It was too much in some cases for the heavy, fully loaded adventure motorcycles and possibly lack of skills in some cases as well. We have pushed the bikes to the limits and our abilities of riding on some days. Lots of dust, gravel, rocky terrain, steep ascents and descents. Don't mind our conversation on comm systems and on campsites. We are a bunch of Polish fellas, so we speak English and Polish, mixing it all together very often.
we go. That's your problem. In there. Some, some a person, not people. There is much reason to burn that energy, eh? So, oh. <laughs> Let's talk about challenges. No, nie ma wyboru. Tędy jak to jest twardo. Wow! To jest beyond technical, kurde. It's over. Yeah. Oh, 
gonna be any more drastic shit like that like we used to before. Catch a breath, actually, that's, that's a good idea. That was a lake campground, and we headed towards Crawford Bay, British Columbia. After previous day we were quite exhausted and decided to take it easy on tarmac to recuperate. Beautiful scenic mountain roads with few twisties along the way. In this episode, after Tim Horton's coffee stop, we have stopped at the rest area along a small creek, had a bite to eat and hit the highway again. We followed along the shores of Moya Lake through Yak, British Columbia, Ericsson, then the shore of Kootenay Lake, Highway 3A, that offers spectacular views. It was cloudy, so it was not the best day for photos or video. We still had opportunity for cinematic Mavic Air 2 drone footage on one of the stops along the shores of Kootenay Lake. All right, so we are day three in Cranbrook, starting with the coffee, very late start. After yesterday, everybody was toasted and uh, nobody had any energy to get out of sack early today. So we had a breakfast on the campsite. Uh, we went back to Waza Lake and uh, now we stopped at Timmy's. It's not as hot as it was yesterday, which is uh, sort of okay, but it looks like it's gonna rain. Everybody's beat up after that uh, adventure yesterday the bike uh, the bikes suffer severe damages so these are the scars on uh, 600 or 650 whatever you want to call it no no windscreen he flew flew over the top it's another proof <laughs> and then is the poor r 1200 gsa severely damaged as well he hit the tree lost control through the mud I lost even the reflector. But other than that, yeah, that's gonna be costly band-aid to put okay. on. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Right, right, right. But yeah. the main thing, everybody's okay. happy yeah. and okay. Not, yeah. Nothing happened this to anybody. This is only plastic, okay. My Africa Twin didn't do any damage, which is good. It just got messy, which I hate. So we are here at Kids Creek rest area. A very non-productive day, non-riding day. Just stopped in for quick chow before we go any further. This is a beautiful creek going back to here. This is top show, okay? Bogdan Chili. Has, Bogdan has itchy bum, then he's gonna yeah. have a smelly finger. The farts, the farts yeah. will be awesome. <laughs> and rubber is uh, powder soup, some kind of a god knows what that is. So here yeah, we're just passing a town of Moya and the Moya Lake on the right hand side
Holy crap, they couldn't have any more machines in here, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never seen those ones, like a long ones. They, they're stripping and making a new one right away. I think so. But just look at the quality of that road. There's like no quality. Just by Grey Creek right now. The first part of Crawford Creek Road, the ride was not too difficult, but quite a few climbs and huge elevation gains. Having no panniers also was nice to have better control of the motorcycles. Totally different riding without the camping gear and the side panniers. This section had one of the nicest breathtaking views at the top. Perfect weather conditions with blue skies. So we just woke up this morning on, uh, on that land that we are staying overnight and uh, we are heading for a short trip, that's about 20 kilometers and it's supposed to go along the creek uh, just nearby and we don't know what to expect but we want to check it out, no luggage, hopefully we're gonna hit some off-road, it's hard to predict what's in front of us though. Oh, it's beautiful. Look on the left, those mountains. Oh, we're hitting gravel. No, not yet. Uh, Crawford Creek Forest Service Road. There we go, the gravel begins.
Oh, it's getting rougher. Wow, look at the view on the right. Oh my god, this is a Kodak moment right there, in front of the road, road has been deactivated. Use extreme caution. So that means we have to check it out. This one. Wow. Yeah. The moment I would turn. A lot of time. Clever. Marius Leva Yeah, this is Druki Pedro Taki Vidok. Bridge. Canyon Creek Forest Service Road continues, okay. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Here to to enjoy the moment. And there's Bogdan, he's gonna throw some rocks, he loves doing that shit. Fixing the bikes at 1400 something meters elevation. Yeah. And, it's, and we're fixing, I don't wanna jinx it, but always the same bike. <laughs> I never tired Africa to win. Yeah, I, I cut a lot of mud when I wiped out, oh. and uh, it's blocking the foot pack so it doesn't go straight. Okay. 
so this is the top of the mountain and now we're heading back down it's a pretty nice view even on the GPS here holy crap look at that the big valley That stretch is even more windy and it has lots of holes from rainwater draining from the top of the mountains, creating a lot of deep dips. It was another spectacular location with rewarding view from the top. From there we went back to the campsite, had a bite to eat and went for one more ride towards Ryondale, BC, where we have found another forestry trunk towards Gerald Bay Recreational Site. We went past it to the end of the road, where we encountered a rock slide. That section was a bit more challenging with quite steep ascent and a lot of loose rocks and rats on the road. On the way back, we have stopped at Gerald Bay Rec site to bathe in the lake from all the dust that we had to deal with throughout the day. Kootenai Lake was a bit cold, but it was very refreshing after riding in 27 degrees Celsius heat. Go, 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 go! Nie zaczęło się tylko o mnie. Pięć na godzinę nawet nie było. Pusty motor teraz! Lekki motor! Lef, prawo, prawo. We made it right to the top on another side that uh, we were previously I think that we were over there on a previous uh, stop and now we are on a totally opposite side of the mountains it's quite challenging those dips are huge and a lot of loose rock but 
Lots of fun. We're having just a blast. And there's Bogdan. Questioning why he is here with us at this age. <laughs> but he, he decided to join us. So. Cheers. Aqua. And guess what? I didn't bring water. I left the valve open on my Moscow motor pack. Overnight everything dried out. <laughs> or spilled out. Yeah, yeah. Towards Orion Dale. I just had a little bit of a break. Quick bite to eat. Boys, couple boys had a short, powerful nap. And now we are ready to rock and roll. Kutni Lake. It's a big, long lake. Well, I'm pretty sure. Let's go to the spot. Oh, it's okay uh oh! End of the road! It's the second route today. We covered some distance and difficulties, but we do have time of our lives. It's challenging, demanding. Those bikes are taking abuse like son of a guns. And they, we love them so much. Abused, tired, hot, but happy. Good day. Good but happy. The views are just spectacular around the corners, on every corner, and the trails. There are some difficult sections, but uh, we made it. So far, so good.